Alright, we are back at it again with Amberosa Clan. We are currently on 27 moons, which I'm surprised we're not further. I just stopped recording every time something bad happens. That's, that sums it up pretty well. So, currently, this is our roster. We have a lot of dead cats. So, Mint Star is a bit cross with Honey Kit. Sleepy Knoll saw a kitty pet with the fluffiest fur imaginable today. Yo, Fox is wondering if kitty pet life is really so bad. Yo, Fox, are you getting, uh, curious about the kitty pet life? Shaded Moon is interpreting a prophecy. Uh-oh. What kind of prophecy are you, uh, interpreting over here? That's a little bit concerning. Culture Slash is sparring with clanmate. Cody Howell is wondering what two <laughs> living with two legs must be like. <laughs> okay. All Cry wonders how Bean Glint is doing. Raven Song has a list of complaints of Mint Star. Top three daydreams about being a warrior in Tiger Clan. Beam Glint is curious about other clans. Pool Noodle pulls a prank on the other warriors and blames it on the apprentices. Dart Husk is healing down. Lightning Paw is pushing hard for more battle training. Plum Paw is hoping to be sent into battle. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Plum Paw, you are so entertaining. Ross Kit is pestering older cats to play with them. Smoke Kit is asking older cats how kits are born. Honey Kit is adamantly refusing to take their nap. So, Gil Fox should be completely correct now. And also, Lucifer has been aged down a little bit. And this time, I actually have my list of who I want to patrol together with, so... Fortunately, we lost a lot of people since I last made this list, so... Barry's dead. Hurricane is dead. Okay, so let's st check on Star Clan, though. He's proud of being one of Ambrosa Clan's first leaders. Hurricane Leaf is proud of Sleepy Knoll for their leadership. Raven Moon is feeling down. Coral Paw is exploring Star Clan's hunting grounds. Theorizing with other Star Clan cats on how to resolve the problems within the clans. Kirgar is watching over the newest additions to the clans. Crowjaw is curious about Squirrel Paw. Antler Speckle is worried about the clan. Oh, Stream Paw watches Raven Song grow and live the life they never could have. Mouse Paw practices their battle moves on Starry Fields. Rose Paw is curious about other clans. So nothing too exciting is going on in Star Clan right now, just some depression and just watching over the clans. Okay, so I have a list of roles that people want to see. So we'll just go down the list here. So fan favorite Mint Gale will be together. That is not no, stop that. I always click the wrong button. Mint and Gale. Gale Fox has to attend to one of their grimmer jobs as a medicine cat. The grounds where Amberosa Clan goes to mourn their dead needs to be tended to. They're bringing along Mint Star. They're bringing along Mint Star as their assistant for this trip. The two cats head out in relative silence. Even though there's nothing different about this place other than the serenity it was chosen for, Gale Fox always feels that the grief and love of their clanmates expressed here has seeped into every corner. They tidy the grounds, collecting rosemary as they work. It feels appropriate for the plant to grow here when its herbs are used to hide the scent of death. So I was asked to put um the vulture kits together. So I believe that is sleepy, up, cool. I think Beam is there too, but I guess Beam's not feeling good. Sleepy Knoll leads a patrol towards the abandoned two leg nest, listening to Hop Priest's plans. Rats were seen hiding inside to protect themselves from the sweltering heat. Perhaps it'd be a perfect hunting spot? Hoptree leads the patrol to the nest, pushing past the rotting wood blocking the entrance. The patrol gets to work, rounding up and piling up the rats. By nightfall, they have so much, it takes two trips to bring them back. Hoptree is congratulated for their ingenious plan. So I'll just uh, split the rest half and half. Those three together. Sadie Moon leads a patrol out to explore the Ambrose Clan's territory and bring back any herbs they can spot. Your whiskers want to twitch with every raindrop that hits them. The clan doesn't have the luxury to sit inside away from the weather. Sadie Moon knows the conditions are miserable, but the group is somehow more unsufferable. Not only do they have to put up with these cats for an entire afternoon, but there's nothing to show for it at the end of the day. 
And we'll put Lucifer and Lightning Paw together. The patrol tracks the scent of a large dog wandering along the edge of the clan's territory. Okay, so I was expecting that the Discord would stay to not proceed here, but... Mm. Seven to four people said proceed. Lucifer selflessly takes the lion's share of the run as the patrol leads the dog on. Exhausting themselves almost to the point of danger, but leading the dog far away from Amorosa clan borders. Their clanmates support them, and a long walk home was called over their purrs mixing with Lucifer's exhausted pants. I was honestly expecting that to go much worse, but uh, that's good. <laughs> so time skipping one moon. Vulture Sasha's shock is gone. Raven's dog's joint pain is feeling much better. Gale Fox examines Beam Glint's leg and reports that everything seems to be healed. The weakness that Beam Glint has complained about is likely a permanent consequence of the injury. Dart Husk gained a few bruises. Lightning Paw is no longer bruised. Sleepy Knoll gives Lightning Paw a friendly nudge as the leader calls the young cat's name. They watch with pride as Lightning Paw steps forward to receive their new name, Lightning Claw, and are honored for their justice. Crosspaw hopes that this Thistle is watching in pride from Star Clan as they are apprenticed to Mistar. Vulture Slush is jealous that Lucifer got praised by the leader. Oh, Owlcry sneaks out at night to sleep in Vulture Slush's nest. Whoa. <laughs> Cardi Hall is hoping Sleepy No won't assign them to the next patrol, but Owlcry is hoping Sleepy No does assign them to the next patrol. Uh oh, Raven Moon wants to send a message to Smoke Kit. That is kind of terrifying to see already. Your car has seen Owlcry's future demise. That's not ominous at all, what the heck? Antler Speckle can feel some cat forgetting them. Oh, that's depressing. The Medicine Cat Patrol pads out into Amaro's plan. Mintstar tells Gale Fox about a dream they had last night. Gale Fox takes Mintstar aside, giving them the full benefits of Gale Fox's experience as they discuss Mintstar's vision. As with Medicine Cat, they don't take the responsibility lightly, and both of them work together to divine the vision's meaning. Oh, Plumpaw got big. Look at that. New sprite. Okay, here we are looking for... The Vulture is still down, and so is Owl, so... Also can't do Coyote. Coyote is still down. So, we will go ahead to do... Do Sleepy. Beam. Pop. And pull. Cool. As the patrol is checking their border lines, they hear an odd sound coming from the nearby bush. Beam Glint drops down to a hunting crouch, certain that a mouse must be the source of the noise. They find themselves to be correct when they pounce into the bush and return to the patrol, with a tasty morsel dangling from their mouth. Opening Dart Husk, Crosspaw, and Plumpaw. Dart Husk suggests there might be a good chance for those cats to practice teamwork. Unfortunately, no one steps up to teach. It's a little awkward, but the patrol disbands to attend other duties. So we'll put Shaded, Smokepaw, and Lucifer. The heat of green leaf brings warmth to the pelt as Shaded Moon wanders, aimlessly searching for daisies to harvest their leaves. They assemble a little group of warriors to help them carry the herb. But the warrior is more interested in hunting whatever has been snacking on the daisies than helping Shaded Moon find any more plants this frustrating and unproductive afternoon. Now we'll put lightning and honey together. While hunting, Honeypaw comes across a rabbit burrow. The burrow is abandoned, with no prey to be found. Plumpo wants to be a great warrior, just like Antler Speckle. Frostpaw is sharpening their claws, and Smokepaw is playing a prank on Frostpaw. Frostpaw is about to beat Smokepaw up, I feel like. And Honeypaw is proud of Frostpaw's progress. Frostpaw's progress. That's kind of hard to say. <laughs> Raven Moon is proud of Vulture Slash. Dude, the character development that's happened... Fire is fierce about Squirrel Paw. Hiragara wants to send a message to Dart Hus. Rojo wishes they were still alive! Put Frost and Mint together. Mint Star suggests it might be a good chance to practice teamwork with Frost Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session and their coordination with each other grows stronger. Mint Star really helps Frost Paw gain confidence working with other cats. Cow Fox, Dart Hus, Cool Noodle, Pop Tree, and Honey Paw. Sure, that works. More marigold would be useful, particularly with Greenleaf and Pulse Queen. The season will bring the marigold to bloom, and the flowers are just as useful as the leaves to go fox, and extremely easy to spot from distance, especially with the controller clanmates to assess them. 
A low-growing marigold creeps across the ground, spotted less by its strange leaves that look like they're pretending to be small fern fronds from a distance, and more by their explosively sunset-colored flowers, even with the warriors understand how to identify marigold in full bloom. So I have lightning, sleepy, lucifer, and smokebomb. But Plumpaw, Beamglint, and Ravensong. Troll encounters a clearing with lost two legs linger. Cats have definitely shown a lot of interest in two legs recently for some reason. I, I don't know what's going on with them. But I kind of wonder what would happen if some of our cats get kidnapped. Okay, so the Discord has said that we are not proceeding here. Your patrol encounters a clearing with a lot of two legs linger. Do not proceed. Your patrol decides to hunt elsewhere. Uh oh, the Discord's gonna be happy about this. Gale Fox and Minstar see each other in a different light and have become mate. Finally, their favorite thing that they've been wanting for the past, like, oh, several people are typing. And all it took was the death of almost all of Mint's family. <laughs> Minstar wakes one day after Moon's and Numbness and feels as if the world is less dull. Pretty Hall will always feel their grief. But time has softened it at least a little. Vulture Slash tells themselves they can't let these followings consume them, so they have to learn with them. Vulture Slash is feeling better. Mint Star, seeing Raven Song strong over the last few months, approaches them and promises them that no one would think less of them for retiring early and that they would still be a valuable member of the clan as an elder. Raven Song agrees, and later that day, the elder ceremony is held. Raven Song has been ordered by Shade Moon to sit still and let their joints recover, the only way the joint pain in their front half will ease up. Shade Moon wakes one day after Moon's numbness and feels as if the world is less dull. Lightning Claw is seen touching noses with a rogue. The Allium Clan Medicine Cat is asking for a clan named Dandelion Despaired. Graciously, your clan decides to aid their allies and share the earth. Cadiel is spreading rumors about their clan mate. Watching Amber as a clan ready to spend an omen. Five seconds. That's all we need. We need a break for five seconds, please. Coral Paw regrets leaving the clan one medicine cat short. Oh, Kirigar is looking to visit Shaded Moon in a dream soon. That's always interesting. Oh, I think Gale got the old sprite. I don't think she had that sprite earlier. We'll put Mint and Gale together. Gale Fox goes with the warrior escort, both for safety as they try to stock up under the clear leaf false skies and carrying capacity should they find anything. Surprisingly, Minstar actually stands up. Surprisingly, Minstar actually starts a conversation with them about the herbs they're looking for. Gale Fox launches into the usual spiel. Even more astonishingly, Minstar is actually interested and it makes their heart grow lighter, getting to share their knowledge and skills with somebody who respects them. So Shaded and Coyote. Near patrol looking for herbs, Shaded Moon notices that Coyote Howl seems more quiet than usual. When prompted, Coyote Howl slowly asks for Shaded Moon to teach them more about the nature of Star Clan. Shady Moon eventually relents and begins teaching Coyote Howl more about Star Clan and the nature of prophecies. Coyote Howl takes up to it quickly, marveling at their ancestors. They attempt to bug Shady Moon about any recent prophecies. Shady Moon only laughs and gets control back on track for herbs. The Vulture and Owl. Troll approaches a two leg nest in the woods while hunting. So it looks like the Discord has said proceed. What on earth? I've never seen this. Now scroll down. Near the two legged den, Vulture Slash suddenly hears ferocious growls. Tiny, adorable, ferocious growls. The kitten tries to pounce on Vulture Slash, barely coming up to their elbows. Before little teeth can do any damage, Vulture Slash gently flips the tiny cat over and places a gentle paw on their back, completely pinning them as they struggle with all their might. Owl Cry called over the mighty fight, asked the little warrior what on earth they're doing. Why they're defending their territory, of course. Black Pelt Ghost now wanders. Tough Kit joined the clan, Pine Kit joined the clan, Quick Kit joined the clan. So, now introducing our newest kits. We have Dream Kit here. And I just realized I forget to add all their information, but I will just do that while reading off it. Not too big of a deal, I just have to refine it first. So, Dream Kit here was submitted by Purgatory Productions. This is a very active member on my Discord, so I wanted to sort of add some cats from people from my Discord who have been super active and whatnot. So that's what a lot of these these three kits were. But 
He says, please don't mate with their mentor, apprentice, etc. The backstory I wrote includes him being a leader, but I don't mind keeping them a warrior. Uh, since they were born in the clan, they're not going to be a leader quite yet, but who knows what will happen in the future. Maybe we'll have Dream Star. So they were found as a kit with their mother and two siblings. As an apprentice, Dreampaw has a natural talent for hunting and fighting, leading to an early warrior ceremony where they had earned the name Dream Mask. They fell in love with another warrior named Leaf Speck. However, he was taken away by two legs alongside many other cats, including the deputy. Dream Mask took the position, and before long, the clan's elderly leader was also captured by the two legs. Dreamstar took his place, but by then it felt as if every cat they loved had left them. Already made a submission, so you don't have to include them. The pine kit might be slightly off color. It's kind of hard to tell whenever they're so little, too. I do think I got at least the patterning right, but uh, we'll see. So here we're going to enter a note about pine. Alright. So I took a little uh, dinner break real quick. But here we are with the next kit, who is pine kit. She was submitted by another very active person in my Discord, by No Moon. She never showed romantic interest in any cats, so no romantic boundaries. As for the backstory, there is a content warning, death, lots of death. Pine Spore was born to the previous and current deputy of her clan, along with her siblings, Petunia Skitter and Swallow Chaser. She was clearly the favorite by both her parents and later Bounce Star. The clan was aggressive, violent clan, and Bounce Star wanted someone to be her successor. Bounce Star personally mentored Pine Spore, which shaped her into a responsible cat who often used her favoritism and power to influence her peers, especially her sisters. As a warrior, she became strict, though not to the warrior code. She kept using her influence to keep other cats in line, and she was given an apprentice at an extremely young age to allow her to compete for deputy. Her relationships were divided as well whenever she was sent to punish her sister, Swallow Chaser, for challenging the leader. And she never formed a bond with her brother, Petunia Skitter, who was eventually exiled after he was caught multiple times conspiring to run away and be a kitty pet. Pine Spore also killed a clanmate's apprentice, and the clanmate had aspirations of being a deputy and was the second runner-up, so she led the apprentice to a coyote where they were killed. After the leader died a border skirmish, Pine Spore's mother took up the leader position and immediately promoted her daughter Pine Spore to be deputy. This didn't last long as another clanmate challenged the new leader, Pine Spore, was quick to act and defend her mother. However, this ended up with her being killed in the challenging clanmate, and she went to the Dark Forest. Anyways, thought it might be evil, evil to have the evil little kitty run around, so have fun. Well, right now, she is known as Polite, so... What we might do is whenever she actually gets older, um, change her personality to something more like bloodthirsty or whatever. Lastly, we have Leechen Kit, who is submitted by Stormfly. I like it if you don't make her an elder. This was before you could unretire Cat. So she's born as a kitten, so she's very much not an elder right now. When she was an apprentice, she witnessed a murder, but her father refused to believe her, so she ended up growing disdain from them and closer to her brother, Reed Sky, who helped her spy on the murderer and find proof to show their fathers. They ended up finding proof, and after being attacked by the murderer, Nimble Star killed them. After that, Lechon Main started to mend her relationship with Nimble Star. She lost her eye when she was attacked by two wolf pups and later helped her clan to drive out the wolf pack that had been staying in the clan's territory. So, let's go see what... Fleck Pelt actually looked like. So this is Fleck Pelt here. I believe... Okay, no, I can't find him through that. Fleck Pelt is admiring the stars on their fur. So this was the parent of the three kits that we just pretty much, you know, took. Antler Speckle. We really don't need more prophecies right now. We're good. So let's see... At least one of the mentors is available here, top three. And we'll put some random cat with you. While walking along the border, your patrol notices a Rose Clan patrol renewing their scent marks up ahead. So it's Hop Tree, Honey Paw, and Frost Paw. So it looks like we're going to proceed here. The patrol eventually crosses paths, and as awkward tension fills the air, no one is quite sure what to say to break the silence, and everybody 
and eventually everyone involved slowly shuffles away to continue their respective patrols. As the patrol walks through the forest, a loud chattering from above interrupts them. One cat looks up just in time to get a shower of twigs and dead leaves to the face, while another exclaims as they spot squirrels darting above the branches. The patrol fans out, some cats climbing, some staying on the ground. The hunt comes to an abrupt end, however, when Lightning Claw yowls in fear as they plummet from the branches and land heavily on the ground. Their clanmates help them home and settle them into the medicine cat's den, guilt and regret picking at them for pursuing such a foolhardedly hunt. Oh, that's, uh, quite not good. Not good at all. Gale Fox has green cough. Cody has a running nose. Green Paw silently swears to Star Clan to do their best for the clan as they touch noses. Cool Noodle. Pine Paw. Pine Paw has reached the age of six moons, been made an apprentice. And Lich and Paw has carefully touches noses with their new mentor, Sleepy Knoll. Who did Pine Paw go to? Because it didn't actually stay. I'll look here in a second. Here we go. Pine Paw. Beam Glint. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at our cats real quick. Here is Green Paw, Pine Paw, and Leech and Paw. And of course, to any of the people who submitted these cats, if something looks wrong with your cat, feel free to tell me and I'll go back and fix it up. So unfortunately, Gale Fox isn't doing good, so we can't pair her with Mint Star today. Uh, we could do Vulture and Owl. I'll also add in their Apprentice as well, because Vulture and Plum Paw probably need to get some. Oh, great. Patrol splits up the hunt, but after a while, Plum Paw is nowhere to be found. Proceed. Vulture Slash decides to continue without Plum Paw and manages to make a few catches. Although things are going where they can feel something watching them and getting closer, Vulture Slash lets out a terrified screech as something leaps out of the shadows and knocks them over. Vulture Slash pops up ready to strike, only to come face to face with their attacker, Plum Paw, purring with laughter. I don't... <clears throat> I don't really appreciate the fact that uh, Plum Paw is just... You know, pretending to pounce on other people, or pretending to, like, attack people. Uh, Coyote and Shaded we can put together. Oh, this is definitely new patrol art. Shaded Moon is on a mission to find Lungwort now that the Leaf Bear is in the horizon. The only reliable cure for Yellow Cough, they're determined to make Amberosa Clan, won't run out of it. They take along a warrior escort for help. Takes them all day, but eventually, finally, Shaded Moon spots the speckled leaves they've been looking for. So crucial to harvest before the plant dies back into Leaf Bear. Just for a second, they feel the weight of their responsibilities lift, and the strength of their relief catching them off guard. Put Dream and Pool, Leechin and Sleepy, Beam Glint and Pine Paw. So, looks like we're gonna proceed, so while walking across the border, your patrol notices a Rose Clan patrol renewing their scent marks up ahead. Pine Paw bounces ahead to the other patrol, not bothering to greet them or exchange pleasantries before remarking on the funny smell the other clan cats offended. The other patrol stalks away, their tails whipping and ears pinned. Relationships with Rose Clan have worsened. Well, Rose Clan relations are not going well recently. So we'll put Dart Husk, Honey Paw, and Hop Tree together. The patrol is checking the border lines. They notice that an Allium clan scent has strayed into their territory. Allium Clan is their ally, but this is a bit suspicious. So we're going to proceed after poking around. Your patrol discovers an Allium Clan apprentice wandering nearby, hopefully lost. The apprentice is distraught upon discovering they're on the wrong side of the border, but Hoptree only chuckles and gently guides the young cat back to their own territory. Relationships with Allium Clan have improved. Now I was starting to get worried that we were going to make enemies with, like, everyone. So it's good that we've at least improved those. So we're going to put Mint Star, Frostpaw, and Smokepaw together. Trailing behind the patrol, there's a mighty crash above Frostpaw. They look around wildly, just as the world is blotted out by a tangle of heavy falling branches. The patrol eventually manages to rescue Frostpaw, but they need to be helped back to the camp, battered and injured. So Frostpaw has head damage now. I wonder how easily that is to recover from. <laughs> 